What's this? This is a strange occurrence. Grout, come quickly! Alien from another world have landed outside the Cronus Castle! Hurry up, Grout! What is it? I was watching the Blue Lagoon return up there. Grouse! Have you ever wondered if there's vampires in outer space? Actually, I, I was reading a book on it yesterday, Captain. Well, we're about to find out. But I haven't gotten to the last chapter yet. We're rewriting! I hate it when he does it to me! Damn! Look! Damn door! Quick! I know the way! You pass it out. You know what this what? is? Oh, Grouse, right here. Right here. This thing. Where's you know, the squeezer? You know what? You know what this is, Grouse? Yes. Well, yes. What is it? Well, look at it. I say, space ball appearance. The skin is its outer coating, so we can walk through space without being harmed. Without this green skin, I, I fear it would explode right before our faces. We'd have to take our clothes out to be dry. Gus, you never fail to amaze me with your your knowledge and skills. Thank you. Can, can I buy you lunch? You may certainly <laughs> buy me lunch. Hey, where does light come from? I think that's a spacecraft. Oh, well, let's take his carcass and uh, go carve it up. Great. I like that. Go, Granny, go, Granny, go, Granny, go. Out of my way! Damn no do you think the cameraman would mind if I close the door on his face? I don't think so. Here, let me use this thing. Prolonged exposure to his service might cause you to growl. And I can't report to let you die again. I don't know if McCoy will come back. Let's put him over here on the table. <laughs> so far, it's in love. Probably. I can't talk. Let's get out of these wet clothes. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, yes, there's definitely a leak. Bring us <laughs> Where's our vampire servant? We just want to perform some experiments here. Where'd he go? He's gone! <laughs> oh, he's Look! Over there! That crafty little frog! Where? Oh. <laughs> Yo! You dare run rampant in the house of Cronus! I should slice your froggy eyeballs off right now! <laughs> <laughs> What did you do? It you burns! From I, space? I, I, I hurt! I'm from Nantucket! <laughs> I'll wipe your face off, Grouse. Oh, thank you, Dad, to Captain Cronus. You oh. feel better, Captain Cronus. I feel much worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this is what I thought would make you better. Grouse, bring me some apple juice. I'm gonna sit down. Apple juice? I can't bring you apple juice, there's a frog from the 
and tuck it in our house. He weakened me. My power is draining out of my body. You need a, you need a quick transfusion. <laughs> oh, that's one less. Oh. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> And that, and that, and that. <laughs> Gross, you are so, so vicious. He's got part of my... He's grabbing cold in my brain, Captain. Oh, oh last vestige of strength. The frog. I roll to the count. Um, Where are my glasses? Oh. I am the frog. The earth is mine. <laughs> No. The frog is taking control of Grast. He knew then and there that the friendship they had shared in you had been destroyed by a frog. The only way for me to save this wretched hive of scum and villainy that we live on today is to kill my best friend, the hunchback named Grast. Oh God, give me strength! <laughs> Now come to the part of the uh, movie where you must choose your own ending. If you were Captain Cronus, would you A. Search Fernando, B. Kill your best friend Grouse, or C. Wake up from this horrible nightmare? I will now give you a few seconds to make your decision. <laughs> Bedside vigil. <laughs> well, I was waiting for oh, Jeopardy to come on. <laughs> this is oh. better than anywhere else, I guess. Oh, it was a horrible grouse. You were possessed by a frog from outer space. What? Of course, such a ridiculous thing could never happen in our world. Of course not. I do not know any frogs. What was that? Oh. <laughs> that is just my teddy frog. Oh, you see? There you go. <laughs> we must oh. get rid of this thing. Bring me some cheese, grouse! Just this once, because Jeopardy. 